I'm Teresa Barber, the British Ambassador to Finland. And I'm Sergio Pagano, Italian Ambassador to Finland. There is less than a month to go until the UN's Climate Change Conference, COP26, in Glasgow, co-hosted by the United Kingdom and Italy. Today, we're excited to be launching 26 days to COP26. Over the coming 26 days, we'll hear from people and organisations from all walks of life taking action on climate change and sharing their projects and action and solutions with us and their wishes for COP26. The UK is proud of ambitious climate action so far, legislating for emissions reductions, committing to doubling our international climate finance to help developing nations. We want to continue on this track. Locally, here at our embassy in Helsinki, we've set our own carbon neutrality target for 2035, and we're working hard towards this. And together with Italy, the UK has also worked hard over the recent years to ensure a successful, safe and ambitious COP26. We've mobilised our diplomatic network, our scientific minds, to combat climate change now and beyond COP26. Italy and the UK have created a strong and strategic partnership in the fight against climate change. As partner of the UK for COP26, Italy will promote two significant events that will take place in Milan at the end of September and at the beginning of October. The first event is called the Youth for Climate Driving Ambition. It is an international meeting that will group 400 young people from all over the world to discuss on climate change. It will be a profitable occasion to share views, opinions and perspectives on this important issue. At the end of the meeting, the young will draw up a statement with concrete proposals that will be taken into account in pre-COP. Pre-COP is the second event that will be held in Milan and it is linked to an international meeting of young people. Pre-COP is a preparatory meeting of Ministers of Environment who will discuss some political aspects of COP26 in an informal way. From this point of view, pre-COP will be a very significant step towards a successful Glasgow conference. These two events are aimed to build international momentum and to make people more aware about the importance of environmental issues for the future of mankind. As the co-hosts of COP26, the UK and Italy look forward to welcoming leaders to Glasgow. Our wish for COP26 is that the global community makes it a moment future generations can be proud of. We must agree swift, decisive and concrete action on climate change, while maintaining a determination to leave no one behind. <laughs>